Welcome back everyone. So in my previous video, I was telling you I have a new system to share with you on applying full nail tips. And in this box is that system. It's a three-step system from Daily Charm as well as some nail art that I got from them as well that they were nice enough to send me to share with you. So I'm gonna go through it all right away. First of all, I'll bring out the full nail tips to show you. Now this one is a 550 piece set and there's 10 sizes in this and it says natural style and often medium ivory and it's for the extension three-step system and I'm just going to open up and I'll show you the color of the ivory ones they're really nice first of all too I should let you know they do have the exact sizing a lot of tips don't so that is really good that they do show you so if you're not knowing what size they are and if they're going to fit your nails it, it has that and it also had the instructions i showed you and there they are they're a really nice ivory coffin shape and sizes from nine to zero So Daily Charm has a few different color choices in their full nail tips so i'm going to show you the next color i'll just pull it out of the packaging here first Now this one is an almond medium blush and there's 550 pieces and 11 sizes. Other information on the front, the same as the other one. And of course it had the instructions and the sizes up top, the same as the other one. And I just wanna bring one up here for you. I love this color, it's so beautiful. And there it is, it's so natural and pretty looking. So again, their sizes, this one's a little different. Their size is 11 to size zero and they include the instructions again on the right side. Daily Charm does have one more color choice for their full nail tips. So I'm just gonna open this one up for you and show you. So again, this is the almond in medium ink clear this time. And again, 550 pieces and 11 sizes. The almond ones do have the 11 sizes where the coffin ones had the 10 sizes. So I'll just bring one up close so you can see. And I'm loving the sidewalls on these tips. A lot of almond shaped tips come up high at the point where this one, as you can see, it's a really nice shape. It's straight right across. And I should let you know that these all have a really nice C curve to them. So they fit really nice. Last full nail tips I shared with you were the Curious Sky ones and I did not like those at all, but I'm really loving these ones. They have a nice shape, so that's a bonus. So the nice thing about their instructions, they do have the sizing on every shape a full nail tip so each one is different and it lets you know exactly the size of each one so next I'll be showing you daily charms three-step extension kit to apply the full nail tips with I just got to get it open here So there's a bonder, there's a primer, and I'm gonna explain better what each one is used for in a minute or two here. And the last one is the extension gel. So I will be doing my own nails in a bit using these. Now, number one is the primer, number two is the bonder, and number three is the extension gel. So it's nice they have it numbered in which order to apply the tips with. And I will go into detail later how to do them correctly. So I'm just gonna share with you what else they sent me. And I was able to choose a few things. So I chose the Magic White Chrome. I've seen this so much, it's so gorgeous. And I'll just open it up here and show you what it looks like.
I also chose the Crushed Diamonds Metallic. Now this is one of those whites that is really hard to find. It has that diamondy silver almost glitter in it. It is so gorgeous as well. So I really wanted to get some of that. Now I accidentally ordered two of them from them. I only wanted one but that's okay. I've got two now and Midnight Shadow Holographic. This is gorgeous as well. You'll see here when I open it. It's so pretty with the hollow in it. I also chose some stickers now. These are rose stickers in different colors, as you can see, and they go over really well in the spring and summer. And I may be using these on my set of nails that I'll be doing in this video, but there they are. There's purple and there's more neutrals and pinks in it. It's really pretty. And the last thing I chose was some more transfer foil. You guys know I love transfer foil. And again, I picked some roses. I'm just gonna open up the packaging and show you it a little better. And now this is quite a long piece of foil, so that's really nice. Now it does have the roses, but it does have some other flower type pattern in it. It's really pretty, it'd be really nice, like I said, for spring or summer. So I may be using this later on as well. I haven't decided yet. So I have one more thing to show you. Now I did choose some charm gel. I love their charm gel. And this one is called Adulting. It's a neutral color with maybe a, a pink undertone to it. It's really nice. It would go with a lot of different colors. And I'm just gonna swatch it quick. And one coat covers so nice, you'll see that. That's what I like about uh, Daily Charm gel polishes too. They have such nice coverage. So here is everything I received from Daily Charm, the nail art, the extension system kit, the nail tips. So right away I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to go into detail on how to use this system and we're going to do some nail art on my nails as well. And don't forget to use my 10% off coupon code. You can see that up on the screen and I'll have all of the links to these products down in the description so you can find them. So we'll get started with my nails right away. So I did the full removal of the nail tips that I had on and if you want to see that video it's in the top right hand corner. So I'm just acting now as if I didn't have anything on my nails. So what you would do is you would push back your cuticles with a cuticle pusher. It makes for a better application of those full nail tips if that cuticle is pushed back. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna take a buffing block. Now, the reason you wanna buff your nails, you wanna remove any shine off the natural nail so the products have something to bond to. Now that that's done, I'm just taking a wipe with some isopropyl alcohol to remove the oils and dust on my nails. So now I'm ready to size the nail tips to my natural nail. And as you can see, I chose the almond shape in blush and these are a medium length. And now you wanna look at the tip when you stick it on your nail and make sure it goes from sidewall to sidewall. Now you don't want that tip to go over your sidewall. So it's kinda gotta be that perfect fit. So you gotta hold it and kinda look at both sides and angles to make sure it's not going over your natural nail in any way. Also, you want to make sure it's not too small. It has to cover your natural nail fully. Now I'm just going to finish sizing the other four nails and I'll just let you watch me do that. And you may see me taking different sizes because maybe a nail tip was not covering my sidewalls fully or it was over my sidewalls. So I'll be back once I'm done uh, sizing all of the nail tips.
Okay, so now I have the perfect sizes for all of my nails. Now I'm just going to wipe them again with some isopropyl alcohol to make sure they're nice and clean for the extension system. So the first one I'm using is the primer. Now the primer removes excess oil on the natural nail and it preps the nail for enhancements and these are 50 ml bottles. So I'm just going to do that on all of the nails. Now you do have to let the primer dry for 10 seconds before applying the second step. Now the second step is the bonder. It's an acid-free formula. It's gentle on the natural nail and it prevents the lifting for longer wear of these full nail tips. And again, it's 15 ml bottle. And this one you have to let dry for 30 seconds once you apply it. So the next step you're going to take the bonder and you're going to take the nail tip and on the underside of the nail tip where it would be applied to the natural nail you're going to place the bonder on and again before you apply any other products it's going to have to dry for 30 seconds and the nice thing with these tips you do not have to etch them the bonder does that for you so it gives a nice bond to the products that you'll be applying next and the natural nail. Now the next step in this system is number three, the extension gel. Now the extension gel has a medium viscosity for easier application. It has a short applicator brush for finer control and it soaks off for easy removal and it lasts up to three plus weeks, which is really nice. And it cures in an LED light for 60 seconds and an UV light for two minutes. And again, it's 15 mils. So now when applying this to the tip, you do not want to much or it's going to be seeping out the edges as you use it you figure out exactly how much you need for each nail of course the pinky you would use less and what I do is I take a cleanup brush always even if I feel there's nothing that I can see on the outside just to make sure nothing seeped out and I do use a clip on myself now on a client it'd be a little easier to hold it down while you put it into the UV light but for myself I need the clip just to make sure I don't have any air bubbles while it's going into the light so I did just flash cure the pinky. Once I get them all done, I'll cure them fully. So I'm applying the extension gel not too much. And I want to show you applying it here. I'll slow it down. So when you're applying it, you want to go to the very cuticle, push up against the cuticle, and then push downwards towards the front of the nail. That is how you have nice application without any air bubbles. And the best thing to do is to hold it. I am pulling my hand off to wipe it. But if you're doing a client, you wanna just keep holding that tip so you do not get any air bubbles. And then I will clamp it with my clip again and then it will go in and flash cure. And on to the next one, I'll just let you watch me apply the next few. And then I'll be back once I have that done.
Now all five nails are fully cured. Now this step isn't necessary with this system and the reason is I find this system is so good for not having the seepage. If you put the right amount in the nail, it's a lot better than the poly gel because you don't have that extra seepage. But I'm going to file around them just in case. I did have a little bit of seepage and then they'll be perfect. So the next step, I'm gonna take a buffing block and remove the shine off the tips because if you're applying any products or gel polishes, they need something to grab hold of. So that's why you lightly file them. I just sped it up so you don't have to watch too long me buffing them. But once I do that, I'm actually gonna take a top coat from Daily Charm. It's called Diamond Shine. It is such a shiny top coat. And I'm gonna apply it after I wipe them off. And I wanna show you how beautiful these tips are just with a top coat you wouldn't have to do anything else and they are so pretty just to wear like that very natural so once I'm done top coating here I will show you it and then I'm going to remove the top coat and I'm actually going to do something different with some of the products you saw at the beginning of the video and some nail art as well so this is what they would look like if you just left them as is how pretty are those and now both hands are done ready for me to do my nail design so keep watching and I'll explain everything but before I do that, I want to show you the nice heat curve on these tips and how well they fit. Just perfect. So I'm taking my chrome effect gel from Daily Charm as well, and I'm going to apply it to three of the nails. Now this would cure for 60 seconds, and then I'll explain the product I'm using next once I have that done. Now I'm taking Daily Charms Magic White Chrome. This is gorgeous chrome, makes such a beautiful pearly finish. And oh my goodness, does it ever look nice on these? You will see that right away. So I will be applying it to the three nails. I put the Chrome Effects Gel on. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful that is on those blush tips. Hopefully the camera is picking up really how beautiful it is. So I'll just do the other two nails and rub that in. And then I'm gonna be doing something completely different on the other two nails. So I'm now going to be using the crushed diamonds that I showed you at the beginning. I want to do a raw glitter nail. So I will be doing two of the nails with this. So I just got to grab my five in one strengthening gel from Daily Charm. It is so good for applying raw glitter. So I'm going to apply it. Of course, I won't cure it. And then I'll be sprinkling the crushed diamonds over this nail. And I did use a little scoop at first. I should have used my cuticle pusher. It has a bigger end on it. It's much easier, but You'll see me doing that and then I'll tap off any excess and I do push it down a little bit and push in the sides when I'm done just to make sure that when it's going to go in the light, it's just going to be a nice even loose glitter on it. Now I wanna do the exact same thing to the thumb. So I'll just let you watch me do that. And then I have one more thing to do to one of the nails. I'm gonna be using one more of the nail art items I received from Daily Charm.
So before I do the last nail art on one of the nails, I'm just going to take my file and lightly file around the edges of the chrome nails. And the reason for that is then you will have no chipping when you do this because the products that you apply above the chrome will have something to adhere to. Now I use my 5-in-1 strengthening gel. It is perfect for doing over chrome. And then of course I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. And later on I will then apply a diamond shine top coat because this is not a top coat over this 5-in-1 strengthening gel. And then I will have no chipping. So you may have remembered these from the beginning of the video. I want to apply a couple of these to one of the nails and I chose the ring finger. And of course it's a sticker so I wiped off the sticky inhibition layer from the 5-in-1 strengthening gel. And now I'm applying it. I'll just place it down and I want to make sure of course I rub it down well so there's nothing stuck up when I top coat it. And I'm just going to grab one of the tinier little roses and I did choose the natural looking ones. I just like the way they looked with the chrome. So I'll apply that and do the same process. I just think the roses look so pretty with these nails. So now I'm taking my Daily Charm Diamond Shine and it's a beautiful shiny top coat and I'm gonna go over the chrome nails with it. And I'm also gonna do two coats on the roses just to make sure that I don't feel them once they're top coated. So here are the nails all cured. Aren't they gorgeous? I love how they turned out. I've had so many compliments on these ones. They're beautiful. I want to thank Daily Charm for sending me the three-step extension kit to share with you as well as the nail art. I think I found my new favorite way to apply full nail tips to my clients and myself. I think all of you nail ticks will agree it's a great system. We're checking out. Love it. Thank you again for watching and if you could please like and subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that and I will see you all in the next one. Oh,